In this video, we'll go over the basic features of Instant Engineer 14, which is a simple to use basic CAD tool. And uh, we'll draw a few shapes, export them, and then generate uh, G code. The first step we'll do is we'll draw a square at uh, 0, 0, which would be our home position. We'll drag this square to roughly the size of a block of foam. It doesn't have to be accurate. We'll do it now, let's say 44 by 44, roughly. All of our shapes from here on will be inside this square, uh, which is really our block of foam. We have these um, zoom uh, buttons here. We can click here. That would be a fit window. Uh, we can zoom at a specific area, let's say this area and we can go back. Um, the first step we'll do is um, we'll draw a text, maybe a logo. Uh, we'll save it and generate the code for it. To do it, um, text, we'll click on the T button here. Uh, we'll set the uh, text, let's say, to test. Um, we'll choose the font. Let's go with comic, um, make it bold, and we have to put uh, save in vector form. Uh, let's set the size of the text, basically this is the height, let's make it 10 inches. We'll move our cursor here and we see that the text, we can place it anywhere we want. Um, our goal is to put it as close as possible to our um, home position, which is this area, so if we click twice here, now we can select the text and then move it down to our close to home position. Now we're going to lose a lot of foam here so we can grab these letters here and move them here. Uh, there's a little more features we can do. We can select the T, drag it here. We can rotate it. If I click on the R button, uh, I can flip it around and then move it wherever I want to. This doesn't give me much in this example, but we just want to show the features. The next step is to remove our uh, border, because we don't need it. And that is our new file. Now we'll, do, we'll save it. To save, we'll go to File, Export, and we'll select a folder, let's call it C, We'll create a folder called test. We'll call the test one. Make sure that we save it in DXF format. Click on the save button. That's it. We're done with step number two, one. The first, the second step would be to take this uh, DXF file, load it into Desk CNC, and generate code.